Yes, hello. <laughs> oh, you took long enough, huh? <laughs> okay, I didn't even want to come in the first place. Give me your palm! <laughs> I wouldn't give you... <gasps> give me your palm so I can tell you what I know about you. I wouldn't you. trust you with a rubber duck. I'm not going to give you... <laughs> oh, I just want to see what, what I know about you. You don't know anything. You're oh, just yes, I do. a phony. <laughs> so, you are the governess at the Thornfield Hall? They told you that. Duh. <laughs> single? Never been Lots in love? Lots of governesses are single. Never been in love? No. Uh, I'm from Lowood School and taught there for eight years. Whoa, oh, bro. What's up with you? I And uh, what do you think of this Rochester man? I know you have some feelings for me. Don't tickle my palm while you're talking about this. I sense a little affection for him. <laughs> I don't like Mr. Rochester. Then why do you so jealousy of every time he talks about Blanche Ingram? Because she doesn't like him. She only likes him for his money. Oh. She's not a good friend for him. <laughs> How do you wife. know this? What if he wanted to marry the so-called Blanche Ingram? I think he does. <laughs> but are you sure about that? Why are you telling me his fortune? Because it includes part of your fortune. <laughs> Why well, would it include my fortune if he wasn't... He was gonna it's be a <laughs> Shouldn't you know about your master if you're staying here? Well, yeah, but it exactly. really has nothing to do with me exactly. because when I get married, I'll have to move on. <laughs> what if you don't want to move on? Well, I must. <laughs> Who told you you must? <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> we all had a conversation before I walked in here. <laughs> what, about, what are your feelings toward a down in Mrs. Fairfax? <laughs> She's very nice. I've never been treated that way before. Exactly! She is a kind woman. She's been working here for many years. But what about Adele? I see you have a strong passion for that child. Well, I guess it's because <laughs> she was an orphan and I was an orphan and something creepy or illegal. I just like the girl, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it was illegal. Well, you said passion. I mean, people are passionate about children. <laughs> How do you know? This ain't no Michael Jackson rodeo. I'm just asking a simple question. I'm not, wait, who, who's Michael Jackson? This is 1846, okay? You'll find out in another 150 years. <laughs> if I live that long. <laughs> Maybe Cardi the surgeon's gonna have some crazy well, medicine. Well, when you look down from knows. heaven, you'll figure out all this stuff. Anyway, yeah, I guess I'll meet you. You like Rochester? <laughs> exactly. No speaking. <laughs> no words speak for themselves. It's all in your body language. <laughs> body language. Yeah, that body language. That little move you do. Move. <laughs> <laughs> that little swagger you have. A I'm Jane Eyre. I'm and not forth, Jane Eyrezel. Okay, so, so I don't have swag. I'm so <laughs> what swag? This is 1846. <laughs> Do you know what Blanche Ingram's fortune was? I don't know. She didn't seem like she wanted to share it. <laughs> well, that's because I wouldn't want to share it if I was her either. She's I don't a very heartless, cold woman. Well, yeah. You told her she was heartless? Why are you telling me about other people's fortunes? Like, because what's it has something to do with you, okay? Don't get sassy with me! <laughs> I'll get sassy with who I want to get sassy with, and if it's you, so be it. Oh, you're just jealous because I got mad skills, yo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're a little beggar with a towel. <laughs> I'm a fortune teller with a dream. <laughs> M Martin Luther King? Who's that? <laughs> this is 1846, as you put it. <laughs> right, right. Touche, touche. Alright, anyway, what about Blanche? What did you tell him? <laughs>
Well, she was just overwhelmed because you know how women get. They don't hear that they're, you know, maybe it was a little lie. You never know. Okay. But she maybe she like doesn't she's think that Rochester has all the money that he it does have. Oh. Let's just say she's a gold digger, if you ever heard of that term. Because oh. it's 1846, <laughs> can I remind you? She's greedy, you idiot! I know she is! <laughs> We all know she is! That's why I don't She probably, it. if you have money, she'd probably be after you too. <laughs> <laughs> I should hope not. Oh, well, you never know, it's 1846. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, so how have you been liking Thornfield? I know you like it more than you liked pie. Pie, yeah, pie. <laughs> I've never had pie. Yes, you have. Except for shepherd's pie, because it's an English delicacy. Anyway. Exactly, exactly, exactly. You like it more than yes, shepherd's pie? Yes, I like Thornfield. I feel at home here. It's because, uh, you know, Mrs. Reed isn't trampling all over you, making you cry in the corner, being smacked in the head with books. Well, no. Oh, John Reed! John Reed! That gluttonous fool! <laughs> if they both died, I would really wouldn't care. Oh, <laughs> trust me, honey. They will end up dying before the book ends. Oh. So, wait, this is a book? <laughs> cool. And an all, and a movie. I didn't you think my life was that interesting. But, so <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can check it out on actresses slash actors dot com slash I will. Wait, this is 1846. Exactly. <laughs> the internet will be invented in within 5.5 seconds. Anyway. <laughs> As I was saying, you know you like Rochester. Admit it. I like Rochester for the person he is, not his money. I'm rich. That is all I need to know because I must tell you something. What? Something that you probably <laughs> didn't figure out already. I don't know. Um, you know, you know, you see my eyes, you see my eyes. Do they look familiar? Yes. <laughs> Where have I seen and them And does before? this voice sound familiar? <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? It is I, Rochester. I'm No back. way. OMG. I know. What? I know I look good, honey. Say what? <laughs> Say what? Yes, I know I look good. How could angry. you do that? You just betrayed my trust. <laughs> exactly. It was all part of my play, and I needed to get some entertainment out of this, you know, gathering of people. Entertainment? What kind of weirdo waste a whole day as a woman? <laughs> Me. It was very enjoyable. I found things out that I didn't know before. It's not fair. Life's not fair, kid. <laughs> I think I know that more than anybody. No! I know it! I've been cursed in this world! I... I have been betrayed in ways that you will never understand. I've been pretty betrayed, sir. Oh, like I, I don't know the feeling. If only you knew. I got a feeling. Oh, oh, oh. That tonight's gonna be a good night. Wait, this is 1846. Crap. <laughs>
It is. Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> even though I already know what is in it. Dear Miss Reed, <coughs> that is I. Would you please tell me the address of my niece, Jane Eyre? I wish to take her in as I am alone and unmarried and very lonely. And, and I want wealthy. a little girl to and have wealthy. my company. That's creepy. And wealthy. But I can't believe you didn't tell me I had an uncle. Well, he's wealthy. <laughs> And I always hated you. I thought you said I was a You know, like... You're a terrible person, but I wanted to tell you that I wrote to him and said you were dead. <laughs> to relieve oh. my conscience. Oh, you better wish I was dead. <laughs> oh, I do, I'm fool. Gonna... <laughs> I do, fool. <laughs> you and your rap music always playing so loud. <laughs> It's so hot to I'm hear. a better rapper than you will yeah. ever be. You want to school? I wish that John had beat you harder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I punched John. I he wish could not that fight you me. were dead and he were not. Did you see me to John? I was. <laughs> yes, I, took I did. Him to school. I did. Before which you is why I can't go to school. <laughs> 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 uh. so. You don't even say bless you. Because you Terrible just child. said you hated me. <laughs> no excuses. You don't even. <laughs> I will see you in hell. Oh, I don't think so. Cause I'm going to heaven. And why is that? Because I am not a liar. I never was. You thought I was, but I'm not. So I'm a good person. You have never told a lie. Not even once. Nope. I have nothing to lie about. Cause I'm junior. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, I'm dying now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I forgive you, Art, just because. Oh, my first lie. Ha! Oh, oh, you ha. brat! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, I wasn't really gonna die. Ah! Does that mean I have to Try. die? Wait, do, I ha do I have to die? Yeah, is that, is I that guess so. Oh. Even though you're not sick. Just, but what's my motivation? I don't want to die. Do. I suppose if trying to run But your son's dead, way. so you could join him. Oh, he's a brat anyway. I thought you. But you oh, wait, I thought he, he was your He favorite. wasted all my money. He so gambled it all away. Is that mean you like me? Yeah. <laughs> Better than him, but I still dislike you a little bit. <laughs> but then again, Georgiana is a, a brat who uh, likes a lot of men. She's and also Eliza, kind of fat. Yes, that too. <laughs> yeah. I realize that. Yeah. And, and Eliza, Eliza is just a nun, and nobody really likes those. She's a skinny exoskeleton. Yeah. <laughs> She's kind of selfish and just yeah. kind of a brat. So, actually, all of my children are terrible. <laughs> Terrible mother. I know, and you hated me so. <laughs> just, but but I did. I did send you off to a school where you got an education. Now you have a life. Yeah, so. but I barely so I got fed. I, I almost job. died, and you made that Brocklehurst guy like whip me out. True, but now I did give you the letter, so maybe <laughs> as a plot point later you, know you will get Let's that money. Let's say we're good. We're yeah, good. Let's, let's right. say we're good. <coughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Aunt. I forgive you. <laughs> Rochester, here I come! Woo!